oh my God, it's real. Bernie isn't coming. He's already here. Yesterday on the program, I told you, oh my, he's coming, man. He's in the lead in New Hampshire, and he almost caught Hillary Clinton in Iowa. Wrong! He did catch her. He caught her immediately. The very next day, new poll out, Quinnipiac. Let me show you. Wait a minute. I don't see Hillary Clinton up top there. What do, who do I see up there? Oh, look at that. Bernie Sanders. Feel the burn. Feel the burn. 49 to 44. He's already passed Hillary Clinton in Iowa. Now, this is trending now. Not just one poll. All the polls are trending towards Bernie Sanders as we get closer to Iowa. Now, before, I would tell you, hey, polls, da, 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 don't get too excited, don't get too discouraged. We're really far out. Now, we are not really far out. We're only three weeks from Iowa. And the troops have amassed. The establishment has no idea what it's about to hit them. Look, I've been telling you this from day one, which is people are pissed. They're not, they hate the establishment. They hate politics as usual. And, but the establishment doesn't get it because they don't want to get it. They don't want to get it through their thick skulls. They are the establishment. Oh, no, yeah, Bernie, there's no chance. No, no, he's got no chance. Right. Now, I've been telling you he does have a chance. I've been telling you the establishment is wrong and that, we, that, that this fervor exists. And, and I didn't do this because I'm, I'm in favor of that fervor, which I am. Okay. I told you that not as part of wishful thinking because it's real. Things like uh, Dave Bratt beating Eric Cantor in a Republican race, uh, defeating a, uh, a sitting majority leader in the House, unprecedented. Why did he do that? Because Dave Bratt ran a populist campaign on the right wing side. So these are real movements. People are to take down a majority leader. And Dave Bratt ran a campaign against the banks. Now, he did it from the right. Oh, but wait till you get a load of it from the left. So on the one hand, you have Hillary Clinton saying, um, you know, uh, look, the banks are it's important and we have to balance. Da, da, da. And then Bernie Sanders comes out, no, 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 no. No, here's what we're going to do. We're going to break him up. Here, uh, Citigroup, break your back. Let's move on. Okay, hey, oh, J.P. Morgan, you're up next. Next, move on, right? He says he's going to break up the, the six biggest banks in the country. And then you know what he said? He's going to cap credit card rates as 15%. Now, that is so liberal, it's a position I don't agree with. But when you go tell people, hey, you know what? From now on, your credit card's going to be capped at 15%. And not going to be 29%, not going to be 80%. It's going to be 15%. You're not going to pay ATM fees, and your kids are going go to get to go to school for free. You know what? It turns out if you actually design a campaign for real Americans instead of for the donor class and billionaires, real Americans like it. The revolution is afoot. Now, let me show you the tide that's rolling in. Uh, according to The Hill, this Iowa drop for Hillary Clinton, quote, it is a significant drop for the former Secretary of State from last month's Quinnipiac poll which had her up by 11%. She was up by 11% last month. Now she's uh, down by 5%. I can do the quick math for you. That's a 16-point swing in just one month. Bernie is not coming. He's already here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ooh, it's hot. Oh, the burn is here. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got a lot more numbers with you for you. Now, that's... Iowa, but what do I hear? I was, oh, yeah, New Hampshire, he's close to Vermont. Uh, Iowa, maybe the caucus and the impassioned supporters. But no, no, nationwide, nationwide. No, I told you all along, nationwide is all about name recognition. But as we get closer to the election, people start paying attention. It stops being less about name, uh, name recognition, okay? So now with three weeks left, here we go. With just 21 days until the presidential primaries officially begin in Iowa, Hillary Clinton's support among Democrats nationally has taken a serious tumble, falling eight points to 43%, according to the latest IBD TIPP poll. Support for her chief rival, Bernie Sanders, rose six points to 39%. These are all different polls. Iowa, New Hampshire, now nationally, all three different polling organizations, yesterday and today, all saying the same thing. He's not coming, he's already here. Nationally, he was so far behind. Hillary Clinton has gigantic name recognition. He had very little name recognition. And plus, TV didn't even cover him. He's only four points behind her nationally. <laughs> they have no idea what's about to happen. More. 
uh, from this poll. As a result, Clinton's lead over Sanders, which had been 18 points, is now just four points. All right, let's get into the details. Uh, the IBTIPP poll shows that regionally Clinton saw her support drop most in the Northeast, where it fell to 36 percent from 50 percent. She lost 14 points in the Northeast. And the West, down to 37 percent from 49 percent. She lost 12 points in the West. Sanders now holds the lead in both places. He is leading in the Northeast. He's leading in the West. You know, there's a word for someone who's leading in all these different areas. It's called front runner. Okay, hold, hold. Yeah, because they say, no, no, no. Bernie Sanders, he's too liberal. He's a liberal. <laughs> the liberal's not going to win because all the moderate Democrats are going to support Hillary Clinton. Really? Let's look at the numbers again. She has lost backing among moderate Democrats, falling to 44% from 58%. Now, when TV was pounding that message in free ads for Hillary Clinton, uh, the moderates will support Hillary Clinton, the moderates will support, the moderates will support Hillary Clinton, she was at 58%. They started paying attention and looking at the actual policies. Mm -mm. They are not supporting Hillary Clinton. Moderates now running in a sprint towards Bernie Sanders. Now, what is the reaction in the Clinton campaign? I now go to CNN. Quote, a sense of anxiety is cascading through Hillary Clinton's campaign. <laughs> oh, I wish I could be a fly on that wall. Okay, here, here's what's happening. Cascading. Anxiety. What is that? What's, I feel, oh no, I feel the burn. <laughs> He's already here. It's real. It's real. I got to explain something to you. Bernie Sanders might be the next president of the United States of America. When you put him up against the Republicans, he's murdering them. So I'm going to get to that uh, next. First, let me finish up Hillary Clinton's uh, reaction. Clinton released a campaign ad in Iowa and New Hampshire asserting that she's the only one who can beat whoever the Republican Party nominates. Really? Well, that's what she's been saying all along. Say, hey, don't go for Bernie Sanders, then Trump will be president. Don't go for Bernie Sanders, then Cruz will be president. Well, let's take a look at the numbers and see if that's true. Now, this uh, is a poll that came out yesterday, Wall Street Journal, NBC News, and Marist. So, well, when you look at uh, New Hampshire voters, it's true. Hillary Clinton is beating Donald Trump by one point, right? Well, that's a pretty narrow lead in one point. That doesn't seem too impressive. It's 45 to 44, right? Now, New Hampshire is a swing state. Forget that it's an early primary state. In the general election, it's a swing state, so it's important in that sense, okay? Uh, now, Bernie Sanders probably losing to Donald Trump, right? Wrong! Bernie Sanders, in that swing state, is murdering Donald Trump. He's beating him by 19 points. You want to know who's more electable? Well, you need swing states, don't you? You need purple states, don't you? New Hampshire's a purple state. Hillary Clinton's like, oh, one point, oh my God, Trump might beat me. Bernie Sanders is like, Trump, who's, who's Trump? Who's your, what's sick to that? Okay. Come here again, Trump. Come here again. Okay. Now, well, maybe he's not doing as well against Ted Cruz. All right, first Hillary Clinton versus Ted Cruz in the swing state of New Hampshire. She's losing. She's losing by four points to that maniac, Ted Cruz. Who's more electable? I can't hear you. Who's more electable? I'm having trouble understanding who's more electable. Because it looks like she's losing to Ted Cruz by four points. Well, to be fair, Ted Cruz, I guess, a little bit better. I, I, probably Bernie Sanders is losing to him, right? Wrong! He's beating him by 19 points. He's beating Trump by 19 points. He's beating Ted Cruz by 19 points. She's losing to Cruz. All right, let's pause here. Understand something. He has a 23-point advantage in electability against Cruz. 18-point advantage against Trump. Those are not small numbers. Those are gigantic numbers. I know, I know, the pundits, I could hear them now in, on Morning Joe. But, 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 we don't really like Bernie. He scares us. He might take away all of our privilege. I mean, he's unelectable. No, no, no. This means Hillary Clinton's unelectable. Okay, now, so what are those skeptics going to tell me on Morning Joe? Oh, that's New Hampshire. Well, Bernie Sanders is from Vermont. It's a nearby state. Blah, 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 that nonsense. Okay? All right, well, let's go to Iowa. Maybe they're right. So, now, Iowa is, I got news for you, I've looked at the map, nowhere near Vermont. And Iowa is considered a more conservative state, also a swing state, also purple, also incredibly important in the general election. Well, there, Hillary Clinton's doing really well against Donald Trump. Give her a cre uh, credit, right? 
She's beating Donald Trump by eight points, 48 to 40. Well, so Bernie probably not doing as well. Wrong! Bernie beating him by 13 points. So remind me who's more electable. No, no, no. For the moment being, it appears that conversation is close to over. And it's not over in Hillary Clinton's direction. So every time you hear a pundit say that Hillary Clinton is more electable, understand that they're either grossly ignorant, haven't done any of their homework, don't know any of the numbers, or they're lying to you. And I, for what purpose? You figure that out, okay? They either know it and they're lying to you, or they, they're idiots. They don't know anything about politics. If you actually look at the numbers, who's more electable? It's a landslide that Bernie Sanders is more electable. So Hillary Clinton, you want to run... A, Campaign ads saying, hey, vote for the person who's more electable. Be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. So, now look, you might like Bernie Sanders. You might like Hillary Clinton. However you fall out on that, it doesn't really matter. What I'm here to report to you is numbers and facts. And what the facts tell you is Bernie Sanders has an excellent chance. I mean, if he wins Iowa and New Hampshire, and he's already only four points behind her in the national polling, do you have any idea the momentum that he will grab, the headlines that he will grab? Then TV doesn't have a choice. The Internet's already all over Bernie Sanders. We've already got the information. We, who's the more progressive candidate? <laughs> Is that really a contest? That's not a contest. And we're in a Democratic primary. So when TV is forced to cover Bernie Sanders, and if he wins those two states and he has that momentum, I got news for you. It's real. The next commander-in-chief could very well be Bernie Sanders. So before I was telling you about the anti-establishment fervor and how it was a possibility, it is now moving to probability. And whoever Bernie Sanders is against in the Republican race, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. There's going to be ups and downs. Okay, These numbers will also move. And yes, it's a long way away from the general election. But given how well he's doing with independence, and every poll says the same thing. Independents really like Bernie Sanders. Again, exact opposite of what the TV pundits are telling you. Why? Because independents are, are looking at Hillary Clinton going, standard politician, establishment. I'm sick of the establishment. I can't take it anymore. Standard politician. Bernie, not a standard politician. And he's telling me my kids get to go to school for free if they're smart kids and they earn their way into college. He's telling me I'm going to, yeah, i got to pay interest, but I'm going to pay it at 15%. He's telling me that he's going to stop those big banks from having all the advantages and all the donors from having all the advantages, and he's going to give us a fair shot? Yeah, of course he's popular with independence. Today is the day when it got real. Bernie Sanders, of all people, the next president of the United States, it is enormously possible. If you're not feeling the burn, it's because you're not paying attention, because the burn is all around.